What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and a lot of people want to cancel Chance the Rapper. Let's get straight to it. Chance the Rapper worked with R. Kelly. That is an issue for a lot of people, and Chance the Rapper came out with an apology that started a little, hmm, a little fire. Making a song with R. Kelly was a mistake. I didn't value the accusers' stories, like, hmm. because they were black women. I made a mistake. That was the clip that really got people angry. When I say angry, especially black women, I mean very, very angry. For example, Olawa BLK tweeted, Chance Deadass said, I didn't value the accuser's stories because they were black women. And the receipts right here with the audio. What he said was so damning. There's no way to take it out of context. Rolling Stone quoted it how he said it period. And of course she shared that audio clip along with it. So before I get any deeper into this video, this is going to be three steps. It's a three step process for PR when you mess up. And to give a heads up, Chance the Rapper handled it well in my opinion. You're gonna see as we get deeper into this video, but also understand that I'm not talking about the issue itself in this video. I'm not gonna bring my opinion into that, so don't judge me. I'm just talking about from the business standpoint. I hope you can get that. Some people won't, but it is what it is. Now, rolling into step number one. You need to acknowledge. First of all, in this particular situation, it seems that Chance really misspoke. He didn't really do anything wrong. It was more of misspeaking, but that was really because the video was taken out of context. We'll get to that later though. So step one, you have to respond. You have to acknowledge the situation. Chance the rapper tweeted himself, the quote was taken out of context, but the truth is any of us who ever ignored the R. Kelly stories or ever believed he was being set up slash attacked by the system, as black men often are, we were doing so at the detriment of black women and girls. I apologize to all of his survivors for working with him and for taking this long to speak out. Bravo, bravo. It's a well-written response, well thought out, and that's pretty much all you can say. Don't even get mad at the people who are coming at you because in this situation again yes chance is being taken out of context he said that but don't attack people just double down accepting the opinion or create the apology if you need to apologize in the situation now a subset of this number one which is acknowledging is you can also have others address the situation for you in this situation jamila who interviewed chance said that she actually interview Chance back in May and he shows so much love for black women, so much support for them. Now, I'm not saying that Chance necessarily asked Jamila in this situation to do so. A lot of times in these situations, if people can vouch for your personality, vouch for who you are, they might come out and just volunteer themselves on your behalf. But it is a smart thing as well if you can get other people and say, hey, do you mind? You know who I am. And if you can find somebody who's willing to do so, having somebody like that, especially somebody that identifies with the offended group to respond, it can be very, very much so helpful. However, there are some caveats to that. Perfect example is when Kevin Hart got in trouble, he was going to be an Oscars host, but at the same time, people found some old tweets when he was talking about he would beat his sons behind if he found out he was gay, something like that. But basically it was seen as gay bashing and of course the LGBTQ community got angry. Now in this situation, Ellen DeGeneres, who's obviously a lesbian herself, came out in support of Kevin Hart saying that she knows his heart, he's a good person. Um, she's, she can vouch for the change that he has made. The best way to do this, even if you identify with the community, since the situation is sensitive, is to say, although I do not speak for the entire community, I do identify with the community as a lesbian, as a black person, or, a black woman in particular, whatever you are. And with all that in consideration, I do also have a personal relationship with this person or for whatever reason can vouch for their personality and accept their apology or wanna give them a pass or whatever your word or message is. Very important to do it in that way because one of the big things you're going to get personally if you come out to speak on somebody else's behalf is people getting angry at you already, but people are gonna get especially angry if you're coming out as if you're speaking for the entire community. 
save yourself that additional headache and also if you are the person who somebody's speaking for definitely encourage them to do it in that fashion because you do want to protect someone who's already an ally for you anyway now moving on to number two provide context now what rolling stone did in this situation was first they actually release a full interview in print a lot of these publications edit interviews, which for whatever reason, consumers just don't know, they don't understand. So a lot of things can be lost in context when you eliminate context, go figure. So even if it's not malicious, just changing some small things can have some results that you don't attend them to. We're programmed to really be hypersensitive to black male oppression. It's just prevalent in all media and when you see niggas getting beat up by the police, it's, it's men. Like, that's like a, a, a scene that, that you see. Like, slavery, for a lot of people, they envision men in chains. Like, but black women are, you know, exponentially a higher oppressed and violated group of people. Like, just in comparison to the whole world, you know? Maybe I didn't care because I didn't value the accusers stories like hmm. because they were black women. now when you watch that video clip it's clear that chance is not saying that he doesn't value black women or he doesn't value the opinions because they're black women in the standpoint of he doesn't want to or he doesn't see it that way he's basically speaking from a standpoint of hey i was ignorant of some things and this is a past thing by the way he's offering this information up it's volunteered so this is a past ignorance that I had and I didn't realize I was ignorant of that and because of these things that were in play I'm now realizing what I was I do not like that and he looks or seems to want to change that in the future and number three ignore everybody you don't need to get back out there you get back out there you're going to just keep the conversation going you're going to keep having people address you about it. You're not gonna be able to change people's opinions. Once you provide context, it is what it is at that standpoint. You're gonna have people who just want to see a situation that way. Even if you look at the person that I included earlier in this video, her tweet said there's no way to take it out of context when she literally posted a 17 second clip of a larger clip which is by definition taking it out of context. Go figure his intention seemed a lot different once you played the longer version of the video. So point being, after you authentically acknowledge something, right, and you provide larger context, if it happened to be something that was taken out of context, you can't really do much else. People are going to feel how they feel. It's hard for people to unfeel certain things. And it's just a habit that people have. It's a weird thing, but it's like if you were cooking chicken or something and then halfway before it was done, you decide to take it out and complain about how it tastes. That's taking something out of context. You don't have the full thing. You don't have the dish as it was intended to be prepared. People do it often. It sounds crazy, but it's just what people do. Now there is a bonus step. The bonus step is act accordingly for this situation, right? If Chance can make sure that his future actions do define a new perspective, right? They really show that he's actually made a change in how he supports and just acts. He doesn't have to be a grand scale, some huge inauthentic display, but you do want to make sure that your actions are parallel to the change that you said you have. And that's it. That's a bonus. You could just use these steps and, you know, not necessarily make the change and just not want to get caught again. That's all well and fine. But if it's actually something worth doing, do it. So again, super simple. Respond, acknowledge, address the situation. If you can have other people address it with you, that is even better. You know, other people to vouch for your character, who you are, how you might have feel, maybe bring more context to the situation from their perspective. But then number two, if you can actually bring context to the situation just from the mere standpoint of providing more footage or a more story about it, explaining it, you can also do this through interviews. I failed to mention that earlier. You might not have a clip like Chance did, even though that was an interview clip, but you can have a sit down interview where you talk about the situation and allow some dialogue where you answer honestly, and then that will just be what it is. And then you keep moving on, right? After that, you ignore. You, you got to stop addressing it and move on with things at some point because otherwise you're going to keep the fire going. And that's it. 
would love to know what you guys think in this situation. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.